Welcome to Channel 5 Eyewitness News. I'm Ken Basti. You know where to look. Always love that mustache. Mm. Well, tonight is bittersweet. Our friend and colleague Ken Bastida is retiring. This is his last day with us, or last night with us. But Ken, we aren't going to let you go without a proper video send off. Roll the video. It's 601. Good morning and welcome to Channel 5 Eyewitness News. I'm Ken Bastida. I don't know what would have happened to Ken's life if he hadn't found television. I mean, what would he have done with all of the energy, with all of the willingness and, and, and need, really, to tell stories and be in the middle of things? I will right, we'll check with you guys again tomorrow. Our Ken first came over to Channel 5 from radio. I can remember looking at him on the air and thinking, does he wear flannel shirts all the time? He was such a mountain man with this huge mustache and all this hair, and he was always taking those stories that put him in the Sierra or on a river or outside somewhere. So when I met him in the studio, and when he started anchoring and they put him in a suit, I almost didn't recognize him. So who is the real Ken Bastida? We turn to a reliable source who's known him, well, forever. 65 years, and he's my son. I Meet Ken's him. mom. She gave us that? the lowdown. As a child, he was always a storyteller. He would sit his brothers and tell them stories and tell them this and tell them that. Ken was born and raised in the Bay Area, went to El Camino High School and studied broadcast journalism at SF State. He then jumped into radio. Forty years ago, we started working together at KFRC. We were both kind of long hair and hippies. In 1981, Mick Jagger came to town. Mike and Ken spotted him at a fancy bistro. And you uh, walked into Le Central with me and watched Mick Jagger break my glasses. Jagger was peeved at radio reporters. Nine years later, Ken learned a Rolling Stone gathers no moss. When I first saw him on TV, I couldn't believe that was my son. It was like, whoa. For 31 years, Ken's covered lots of news. It is still burning out of From Bay Area disasters. My name's Ken Bastida. To in-depth investigations, reports from the Middle East, and... Wow, that tastes like real vomit. Bizarre stories. <laughs> I think the Bay Area is truly going to miss Ken's versatility, right? He walked the streets of Baghdad, covered fires and earthquakes. The true magic of uh, Ken Bastida, he never took himself that seriously. And he I and I covered the Giants 2010 first World Series for championship. <laughs> Fortunately, that suit was from Kmart. <laughs> the next sign you see on Ken's computer is gone fishing. Plenty of polls for you, but you got to catch your own. Even the Speaker of the House has taken note. It is a joy to congratulate legendary newsman Ken Bastida on an extraordinary career. <laughs> His colleagues could not agree more. Uh, to give you a tip, when you're retired, every night is Friday night. Uh, you're a grandfather many times over and will be enjoying your family. What an incredibly successful career you've had. You are so smart, so sharp. Love you, Kenny. You're my TV husband. Uh, and I'm so excited for you. It's going to be fun. But wait, there's more. Do you think he's going to grow his beard out? Absolutely. But do. Don't grow it this long, because holiday comes, people want things from you. We are going to miss you. Ken, as you ride off into the sunset, best wishes to you and your family during this next chapter in your life. Wow. Oh well, I have God. a Ken Bastia story. I started here. Only one? Well, I have many, yeah. but this is the one that, that I think resonates with all of us here at KPIX. And... Um, I started here 10 years ago, I was from Palm Springs, and um, I was so nervous. It was my first newscast. I was anchoring with the great Ken no, Bastida. Stop. And he said to me, don't worry, I'm never going to let you fail. And you never did. And it's no. been an honor. No, you were, uh, you, you were good when you got here. So I was just helping you along to no. get a little bit better. And uh, we had a great group of people here and mom I know you're watching don't believe anything these people are telling you about me it's all a big lie okay <laughs> I'm just the same as I always was and uh, I just had the advantage of working with so many good people uh, including um, Molly McRae who is just an amazing um, 
editor, uh, photographer, and uh, producer who put that piece together and all the little other vignettes that you saw this week. And so Molly, love you, thank you mm. so much. And thank all you guys um, and all the guys that were here before you guys, because I was here then too. And uh, Kate and Barbara and Juliet and, uh, and of course you, Liz, and you're gonna soar on to great things. So. Well, it's been an honor to sit next to you, truly, well, honor of a lifetime. The honor was mine and the privilege. Thank you. Well, we are going to miss you terribly, and it's so fun to look back on all your stories and the amazing legacy that you've left here and yeah. your mark on the Bay Area. We did manage to have a little man. bit of fun. I think we had a lot of fun. <laughs> and there's more fun to come. <laughs> well, thank you for watching tonight at 6 o'clock. The news continues streaming on CBSN Bay Area. You can find it on the KPIX 5 News app. The CBS Evening News is up next.